guys, my name is Siniac and welcome back to another episode of Lumber Tycoon, where today I am wearing one of the many shirts that you can get in what I've called the Rainbow Collection in my group store. So if you're not already, go check out my group on Roblox and in the store you can see all the different colored shirts you can get for your character. They're so cool. This is the black one. I really do like it. It's nice. It's nice. Well, anyway, guys, we are back. And if you enjoy this episode, make sure you hit the like button because since last episode where Code, Mr. Code Primate, built me this sweet sawmill setup, I've done a lot of work to it. Now, as you can see, I've got this little border going around. And uh, what I want to try and do is kind of build like a building around it. So it's kind of inside, if that makes sense. Because if I can enclose this whole sawmill set up. Now, it's really cool how I've done this. Because what I want to do is place in windows. So you can see from the outside the saw. I kind of like this. It's kind of like... Um, when you build like a, like a PC, and when you build it, you have like that glass panel on the side so you can look inside and see all the bits and bobs moving and working and lights and everything like that. I kind of like it if you've got windows to look in and see what the sawmill's doing. I've also placed in this one underneath as well. So we've got this big one here, which you can park your truck up, um, truck up uh, throw your wood on, and it goes up. If it's long enough, it gets cut by the big sawmill. If it's short, it takes the bypass and go down here. Or alternatively, you can just simply pull up at this one if you just got generally short wood anyway and throw it all in. Now, once it comes through, you can see this big pile of everybody that's been helping me get all this um, sweet, sweet oak wood. And I need to set up an, as well another conveyor system just here to go underneath because I got some cool things planned for it. So today, what I want to do then is first I want to tackle finishing off the roof because I made a lot of progress on the storage which we're going to check out. And I also want to work out where I'm going to set up um, where the kind of glass stops and then the wood structures begin. So there's quite a bit we need to take care of and at some point I need to do the roof on my house as well. I've done a little few modifications which we'll check out very shortly. Now, let's first start then with finishing off this roof. Now, once we've finished it, I want to get some more conveyors as well. So let's jump up. Sweet. So I've, I've got to create like a really cool pattern. You can see I'm going to have like two rows of glass to let light in. It's going to be pretty sweet, mate. Right, let's turn this here. Where you go. No! Oh, I hate that. Every time you go to play something and I just really gently move the mouse and it just messes everything up. Now I need to, um, should I do, now I think I'll do the glass panes last. Um, because I need to work out which way they need to go because there's two sides to a glass pane if you haven't um, kind of checked it out. It kind of goes more on one side or the other. It's a bit weird how it does it. It'll be kind of cooler if it centralized the glass. For those who know what I'm talking about, you know the struggle. It's annoying. It's super annoying. So, oh dear. What I eventually want to do in the future is... Um, oh, we got a little piece there we got to place in. What I want to eventually do in the, in the future is... I want to build a huge tower. Now, when I've eventually got the um, the roof on the house all done and finished up, I want to start to then gradually build a really high tower. I want to push the game to its limits in terms of how high you can build. Now, if anybody knows how high you can actually build on the game, let me know because it's going to be really helpful for me to understand what the actual limit is and how far I can go. It would be kind of cool if there was no limit. I mean, that would be kind of scary in terms of actually being on top of that really strong, um, tall structure. But also kind of cool. I'm kind of interested to find out. That's what I really want to do. Right, so I've almost done this now then. I do have to get a small little square one set up as well. So um, let's place you in. Centralized. Nice. One more. Then I'll set up the other uh, little one. Bam, bam, bam. So all that white wood is, and the walls there are going to be used for my house eventually when i got that all finished up too. Now I'm going to show you, when I've built this roof, I'll show you the inside guys with the other stuff that I've actually done inside the storage room. So, oh, wrong one. Let's get the little small one up and running. Right, if I place it like here, that should give me enough space then to throw in a nice piece. This should be big enough. Oh, it's just a little bit off. Oh, use this piece here. Damn, Seniac. Back at it again with another piece of wood. Yeah. Right, let's climb up. And then we got that little piece in there. And it's all glass panes then. Well, I'm hoping it's all glass panes. It should, they should all fit in. Yeah, they should all fit in. Right, so what I'm talking about now is there's two sides of it. I could get it right first time. I could not. 
bam and as you can see there if i can bring it down a bit you can see it's a little bit off leveled you can see a little gap there so there's two sides of the glass pane and it is it is annoying to try is that yes and it is annoying when you're trying to do stuff because i've done stuff in the past and it's happened to the actual this roof that i was doing that i got so far into it and then i realized some of the glass panes are the wrong way around <laughs> so you gotta take it all apart and it's just so annoying Right, so that's one, and then, uh, so five, is it five more? No, yo, four more, four more glass panes, and then we finish building the storage roof, which is super duper sweet, super sweet. Right, let's get this in. Right, is that the right way around on that one? Yes. Woo -hoo, 360! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, again, guys, something else I want to do as well, and I've kind of, um almost got it ready to be built is i keep talking about this my my wood storage area now as you can see i got the sawmills that come up and then they fall into this little um pile here this is where for both sawmills all the wood is going to end up pretty much in that pile now along if i zoom out along this whole section there just above my head um as you can now see uh, is where i want to put like all the individual sections for the individual types of wood, like the wood storage bin so i'll have one so small section solely for uh, um like uh, the lava wood one for oak birch and so on and so on so we've all got it categorized and it's all in its place and once i've got that set up pretty much i should have no clutter on my base and then once the whole of this inside is completely clean i can then build more stuff so if you've got any suggestions of what I've done, I've seen some suggestions, like people saying, like, um, some people have said about the tower, which I'm doing anyway, like, but some people have said, like, um, build, um, like, office blocks, uh, what's it, like, like, a little, like, a calf, where people can come in and have food and put all the turkeys and cans of beans on the tables. Um, if you got any ideas, guys, I'm open for ideas, because it's going to be so cool. I like how this um, is structured as well, like a little tier system. Right, so I need some more glass. And I think that this one, and then one more, and then we have completely built our storage area. Super, super duper sweet. Right, let's climb up. Up, up, and away we go. Place you in today. <coughs> nice. Right, sweet. So we've built the storage roof now then. So if I come in, you can now see. It is, we get some light coming in, which is beautiful. I, I really do like the design of this. Now, some of the stuff I've done differently is this section here. I've built a little storage section solely for paintings. Now, I haven't used any of these in my house yet because I haven't really paid much attention to my house in terms of detail. So there's still a lot, I haven't even done the kitchen in there. How long have I been trying to do the kitchen for? Forever! So, uh, just in storage for now, I thought it was quite nice to have the paintings on the wall there in the storage. We've got a few stuff up here, and all the conveyor systems are down here, which is beautiful. And then in this little room, which I said is going to be for all the wires and stuff, I kind of built a load of shelves and placed them all on. And there's some Christmas wires up there, just white ones. How cool is all this? It could do with some actual indoor lighting in here as well. Hmm. Now... My thought process is, do I get something like how we got these lights in these room or in this room? And if I do, I could maybe place one there, one there, one there, one there. And it could look good. Or I could do what I did in my house with the actual um, neon lights. Or alternatively, look how bright it is in here solely from these little things, these little lights. I could actually just place a few on the floor or underneath or maybe on like a top shelf. I don't know. It's a bit confusing, but it is getting quite dark anyway, so I can't focus too much on that because the um, the shop over the bridge is going to be c -c 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 closed. Right, let's throw you on there. Because I want to now finish up this little this um, the conveyor system for this sawmill. So let's move all this stuff out of the way. Goodbye. I can't wait to get the storage bins all set up as well. Which also means I'm going to have to move all of this stuff here. This is going to be slightly annoying to move it all. So what I wanted to do then, because even though there's two sawmills, I eventually all wanted to come onto the same um, conveyor system. So I'm thinking it goes... This is kind of cool. So I want to use this as well. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, I want it to come out straight here and then line up with how this one turns just up above, but then go underneath it. And then come out a little bit further. So when wood comes up this one, it falls off onto the conveyor underneath. Then comes up to this thing here, which can be at the very end. Which um, pushes wood on. 
and then scoops it over to the side to stack it up in lines, which I thought is a really cool idea. Right, so I need to make I need to make some room then. I'm this is this is terrible. I've got so much wood here, and I gotta move it all now. Right, um, I probably won't move all of it because there's just so much. And I do want to use majority of this wood anyway uh, for building this building here. But something else I need to... Oh, something else I need to take care of is if I get windows. This is it, yeah. I've got so much I want to do. And it's just like so much. Try and, and just want to do everything at once. And this is impossible. But I need to find out as well, more importantly, how far if I jump over and then place you on. Now, this could be another problem. Yes, wrong way around. I knew it was going to happen. Place you on. How far um, is that far enough? Like, if I stuck a um, a blueprint here, I need to I need to work out how far the windows need to come. So if I stuck a blueprint there, oh, that's perfect. And then I'll have a, a, another one if I can get it in place here, and I'll have the windows going along then continuously. Oh, this is cool. And then um, if I rotate these. And that creates like a hole in the wall. I really like that. Let's get some oh, <laughs> let's get some wood to it. We'll build it now. And we'll see what the hole in the wall looks like. Oh, there's so much wood. This should be a nice piece to use here. Now, I'm thinking as well, on the corners of the hole, we do stuff like little arch... Um, not archways. We've got little slopes, ramps, to kind of um, make it look a little bit less like a square box. More of a... Um, yeah, it's a nice piece. More, I don't, it's hard to explain what I'm trying to go for, but we'll see shortly. <clears throat> so, how much is that? That's 67%. Okay, okay. This could be good. And then we'll get this. Uh, well, that's a nice chunk there. I'll use for the top piece. Ah, this should be perfect. Perfect piece. Right, run, 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 run. There we go. Jump down. And then jump up. I gotta rest this on top now. What's that? 76. Damn it, damn it, man. Um, I gotta try and rest it up above. This is gonna be difficult. All right, let's jump up here. No. No. Right, it's resting there just for now until I can get another piece. This is terrible placement. Terrible placement. This should be perfect as well. Now, it don't help that the I'm moving on this conveyor. Oh, perfect. I, got, I can do this. I can do this. Yes. Right, sweet. So, we got this hole in the wall, which I'm thinking. We go to the wedges. And this small wedge, what's that going to be like? So, let's turn it round. Is that upside down? Yes. No, that's not. That, the, the, the kind of um, the s slope on it is not enough. Oh, this could be. And then rotate. Can I get you in? Hmm. <laughs> it looks... I mean, no. I don't know. It's a tough one. So that was one third. How violent is that for a turn? Yeah, it could be a bit too much. Do you know what? We'll, we'll probably roll with it. Let's roll with it and let's see what it's like. It could be good. And it could be terrible. Uh, I'm trying to get some, like, big enough pieces but not too small. I'm not sure what this is going to be like. No, I thought not. I got some bigger pieces I can, I can you know, just simply use as well. Right, let's jump up. Bam, one in. And then we'll take this piece. Get off the piece I want. Oh, no, that's quite a big piece. We'll, no, we'll take this one. <laughs> yeah, boys. Right, let's jump up. Can I get you in? Yeah, let's th what's it like now? It looks, um... It definitely looks like something. I mean, it is, it is, it, I suppose... I mean, I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think? It's a tough one. I mean, it's hard to see anyway because it's pretty dark. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. 
It's still quite cool, though, how we've got the ramp in front of it to put the stuff in. Um, I don't know. It could probably grow on me. It could probably grow on me. Okay, so we've got the winners in there. Let's I place one more window in this side here, and I can do some more walls. So I wish it would hurry up and be daytime. Where's the moon? Where's the moon? I think the moon could be possibly going down soon. Right. Now, will this glass pane be the right way around? That is the question on everybody's lips. Right, get you in as well. Move. Turn. <coughs> Not bad. I'm liking how it's like three glasses wide, and then I eventually build like a roof on top, which will look pretty cool. Right, let's get some blueprints down then. So, let's see if I can place you in today. Wait, is that slightly off? No, that's fine. Okay. And then, uh, bam. Walls going all the way across the end. Damn it. <laughs> Damn you, fool. Why are they being such a pain to place down? Oh, this is good. This is annoying now. Right, I'll start from this end. <laughs> I can't get them. What is going on today? Right, place you in. Move. Every time. It's not my fault. I'm blaming the game. <laughs> okay, so place it in. And then the last one. In there. That's nice. Have a nice um, solid wall of oak there. So let's start placing in some wood. What is that? That's 58%. So we need a nice big chunky piece. This should be perfect to finish off our first one. And um, yeah, so I also need to start thinking about a design for... Oh, okay, you just go there. Fine. Uh, I need to start thinking about a design for what I'm going to do to the roof. Where, where's that piece gone? Where did it... Oh, is that a piece? It's hard to tell. Because it, it's dark, it's hard to um, tell which is the good long pieces. Because it all kind of blends into the same. Move you. Chuck it all off. I want this big piece. Hopefully this is perfect size, not 90 something. Yes. Nice. And then, okay, we'll just start stacking pieces on that. Just to get used some of this wood. Right, so you. 24. You fall to the floor. In. In. <coughs> Damn. 50%. It fell again. 52. Right, I place it there. 78. It's a nice, decent sized piece now. Um, this could be the one. Who knows? I, ah, damn it, that's 90 something. Uh, a little bit chunkier. We'll go with this one. That's going to be perfect. Sweet. We're in. We're in. We're making the progress. Damn this game to hell. I hate placing wood in on awkward places. I should really learn my lesson and make the walls first before placing the stuff in, like I normally do. Why didn't I do it to this one? You had to go and be cool. You had to go think you were so cool, Zediac. This is only 62% as well. Once I get this piece in anyway. Once I get this piece in, I said. Wait, where's that piece gone? Are you see, I've just lost that piece. Not cool, game. Not cool. Right, we should get you in now. Seniak and the, the, the elusive piece of wood. Do you know what? There. No. <laughs> How many more times have we got to play around with this wood? What are we on? We're on 62. This one gives us 82. And then that one should be perfect. Yes. Right, two more pieces to go. <laughs> I want to cry. Right, I'm going to try and use the big pieces to get it done. Right, 72. Nice. Nice 72 piece. And then, um, 
Can I get you out? Yep, you'll finish it off. And I've just spotted another long piece, which hopefully should be all we need. Uh, this piece. Oh, this should be... If this is not perfect now, then I will cry. So bad. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Wall. All set up then. So, it's going to eventually go all the way around it and close it. Um, I'm thinking as well that we also... Because I really like how I did that tier system over here. And I'm thinking I'd do the same with this. So maybe where the windows are are one tier. And as soon as it hits the wooden wall, because obviously it slants up and it's got to be higher, we then make the walls or the ceiling higher. So up to that point could be perfect for us. And if that is the case... Um, right, what I'm going to do quickly is place... Um, let's place three down. And uh, let's throw a load of wood over here. Uh, so we can get this built easy and then I can move them easier. So I'm going to use all the little scraps to get them out of the way. There's nothing worse than the scrap pieces of wood that are just completely useless and take forever to build things. They're super duper annoying. Get you out. Throw you in. I said throw you in. Alright, let's use some of the bigger pieces to get it done. Oh, 81%. And, oh, no. There we go. And then we'll use some slightly bigger chunks now. Yep. And you. In. And you. In. And finally, you. In. Perfect. Right. This is what I should have done in the first place. But I'm just too lazy. <laughs> right, so turn. No, do I want to turn? No, I don't want to turn that. Rotate. Up. Up. Right, so it's just going to give me an idea for where it's so annoying that stuff doesn't want to place today. Um, so that's going to give me an idea for how high it's going to be. And if I move this round and then place one. Now, this is going to be the thing as well, because I know that the, the, the kind of gap in between these two posts here is not the length of a piece of wood because obviously I've compensated to having the conveyor belts and like a gap either side so you do have to put in some small posts to kind of fill out the gap but if I place this um, here like that that should take two posts so let's get the posts out one Two. And then they should be pretty easy to build. These posts. Damn, son! Move, 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 move. Right, one in. Nice. Can I squeeze you in, please? Bam! Right. So, what that's going to do then is, well, for our posts, we know two go either side, and we can have one solid one in the middle. So with that knowledge, I can have a line of wood going this way on top of the glass, which means I need a ton of um, posts then. So one, two, let me work this out. So, uh, oh, this is a point as well. If I um, rotate, <clears throat> does it create a perfect line going across? Because this is going to be the part where it's going to probably not work for us. I think I can actually squeeze it in. Can I? Oh, I legit can. Okay, now I can now do that. And so I'm going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 15. Okay, so I need 15 altogether. Right, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I need a total of 15 of those. Wow. That's a lot, but they should be quite simple to build. As you can see, they're just taking one piece of wood. Um, can we get away with them smaller ones? I don't think we get away with those those really small ones, but almost get away with um, you know the normal kind of smallish ones that 
are terrible sizes for anything else. Um, bam. I'm trying to use, like, biggish ones, but not big enough that it's, a, you know, a complete waste. Uh, bam, you on. Yes. Can't scratch you out. Ooh, so close to that one. And bam. Can I use this small piece, get this out to kind of finish that one up? That's on 120. Move it. How annoying was that one? 80% this one. I get rid of you. I use you. Right, that's all the planks that I need. So I need to remove what I've currently got up here. Now, can I can I get it? Yes. Destroy. 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 Right, jump back over. So we do a line going around, because obviously it's quite nice to fill it all in like that. And then we're going to do like the roof of it in um, the white birch wood. Which is going to be so sweet. Now, hopefully I did my calculations right and I've got <clears throat> the perfect amount. Because if I have, I'm a genius. A j -j -j genius. Right, jump over. Move. Place down. Oh, this is this is gonna be perfect. Like this is gonna legit gonna be perfect. Right, move you. Okay, rotate. Oh, this is so good. So good. Guys, at, rate me out of ten on my building skills. Are they getting better and better? I feel like my building's getting ever since I did that shop and I kind of when I built the shop I learned more about how to place because that's when I discovered the posts. I didn't I didn't know the posts existed until I built my shop. And in the way I built my shop, um, I did it differently to how I've been building my house. And I've kind of taken what I learned in terms of how to build my shop over to my storage barn and this section here. So I feel like I'm getting better in terms of building on the game. What do you guys think? Are my structures getting slightly better and better? Um, I, I really do wish I could go back and do my house all over again because it's not per it doesn't line up right, some of the stuff. <laughs> Especially the floor. I'm having to use like the really small tiles at some points. And it is just not great. Right, I should be able to place from over here now. Oh, this structure is looking super swanky. Super duper swanky. Place you in. And you. Over there. And then the final piece of the puzzle. To go in there. That's nice. And then I, hopefully I can now use the white walls over here to finish them all up. So move this one. Oh, I'm stuck. Right, let's uh, try and turn it. There we go. Oh no! I knew, I knew it. I legit knew it. I knew that was going to happen. So we, we need a lot more than what I initially thought then. So, bam, you there. My calculations, I knew it was too good to be true. My calculations were off. <laughs> Why did I think it was going to work? Just because, like, um, had, ah, oh, because, okay, I know how, okay, how I calculated was, I thought that we got a plank there and two um, walls, so we place two walls here and they fit in perfect, not realizing the walls either side. So that's slightly annoying. Right. Can I get up? There we go. So we actually need quite a bit more white wood to go in there. Right, so what I'm going to do then, guys, is get this all set up, then all finished, and then we've built the entrance to our sawmill. How cool is that going to be? Let's switch sides, well. Let's change things up a little bit. We'll have a little bit of a, a little bit of a differentiation in what we are currently doing. So, hang on, before we do then skip ahead, I need to actually work out how many um, posts I'm going to need. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's two per wall and placing down. So is that 14? Yeah, I think, yeah. We might need 14. Uh, you know, taking into granted it will go up to the very end. If I can get a piece in there, then it's going to need 14 posts. Right, we should just see now. I'm going to work out with this next one then. What we're going to need. Um, hopefully it lines up perfect. I ain't going to build any more than 14. But you just never know in this game. 
14. Right, let me build these 14 posts then, guys. Right, and a stroke of genius, guys. As I placed all these down, I realized you've got these really long posts, which I could actually stick in there. So let me build two of these just for now to see what, um, or how many I'm going to, because I, I do think I'm going to need some posts after. What's that? That's at 50%. So let me just build these two. We'll take this one for the other one. And then um, see how many we're going to need after. What's that? 90? Wow, okay. We need a lot more then than what I originally thought. And bam for you. Right, let me place this first in, making sure that it does fit in. Come on, squeeze in. Bam, straight in. So I think we're going to need three altogether. Let me just quickly place down another one then. So three altogether. That was a lot easier than doing all those, um, what you call it? Those posts. Well, for that section anyway, because uh, the other section, it doesn't really work. Well, it, actually, it could work. You know, with the way I'm building it. See, I'm learning all the time, guys. <laughs> so, Nick, what was you saying about being getting better and better at building? It looks like you're not even doing what you're meant to be doing. All right, can I squeeze this one in? Bam. Is that going to be one? Yeah, I think it's going to be one more. They should fit in perfectly. Ba bam! How cool is that entrance? Now, the more and more I look at this, I kind of do like it. The more and more I do look at it, so um, yeah, we're probably going to roll with that. Um, or could I do something like um, I could be pushing it now? Right, we use these wedges. Right, let me turn them round. Which way are they going? Was it those wedges? I gotta turn them a bit more. If I can find the wait the right way. Right, if this works, this is this is kind of a cool idea. But I don't think they're gonna work. Can you turn them into squares? That's what I'm trying to uh, do. Is it such a thing? Hmm. I don't think I can I can do it. Or at least I can't f place them in. No. Right, that's, that's fair enough then. I'll place it back over there. I'll play around with it another time anyway. But what do you think now then? So I've actually completed my storage barn. That roof is now all done and set up. And now we've got this sweet, swanky new entrance, which uh, before next episode, anyway, I'm probably do a few more of the structure. Let me know if you want to see me do more of building this structure on camera. And we can probably, like, next episode, do, like, um, a big, massive build. And I'll chop it all up so like, it's, like, easy to watch and stuff like that. But I just wanted to get this kind of basic... Um, this first bit done here to kind of give you guys a feel for where I'm heading with the rest of the building for our sawmill and conveyor system setup. So it's not too bad. I do like it. I really like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye.